Hello, 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 hello. Everyone in the listening, 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 listening. Hi, everybody. Cherie Johnson Moore here. And today on Let's Talk Sunday, we gonna sit down and talk about don't let your dream die. Get up from there. Don't let your dream die on the vine because of some obstacles. Get up from there. You're not going to accomplish anything if you're just sitting around doing nothing. You got all these ideas in your head and you got all these, these things that God keeps, these, these plans, these things that God keeps placing in your head to do. And you have to get up from there, though. You have to get up and move around and, and, and put these, these ideas into action, into play. So don't let your dream die. Get up from there is our topic for Let's Talk Sunday. Now, come on, get up from there and let's do something. everyone hello 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 everyone how are y'all doing today sharice johnson moore here your hope builder lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the christ within through scripture and practical applications i want to say it is a pleasure of being here today because god has allowed us to see another day right god has allowed us to see another day so I want to get into this topic of, I want to get into this topic of, uh, I want to get into this topic of, says, don't let your dreams die. Get up from there, right? We all have dreams, aspirations, um, like things we want to do in our lives, right? And I want you to think about what do you really want to do with your life and what dreams do you have that you want to accomplish in your life, right? Now, when time goes by, we waste so much time. We waste time. We waste a lot of time. Worrying about who don't like us, worrying about who who doing this and who doing that, and, and all the other people lanes. Okay, okay, we always we always get into that. Sometimes some of us, you know, some of us get into other people lanes that we should not be driving, right? And I want you to really think. I want you to sit down with a piece of paper, get you a pen, right? Get your pen, get your pen and a piece of paper, and write down what you want to do with your life from this day forward. Write what you want to do with your life from this day forward, because time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. I'm saying like, how could I say this? You know, when you're young, and you think you got all the time in the world, right? You think you got all the time in the world. You could do it. You could mess around. You could chuck and jive. And, oh, I can do this. I, and, and I didn't realize when I was younger that I liked to write. Okay? Like, you know, you get the songs and you write down all the lyrics to the songs and things of that nature, right? And, and I also kept me a diary. And I said, okay, all right, cool, you know. And and the thing is, is when we are young, we don't realize we're setting ourselves up for later, for, for later, for later in our lives. We look back over it now, I'm 50 years old now. And as I look back over my life, I realized that was something that 
God placed within me early on in life, and I didn't see it at the time. I didn't see it at the time that he was he was cultivating me into being a writer and an author and a motivational speaker. And I used to talk to my friends and get them all this advice and stuff when I was young, too. And I asked them, what do you want to do with your life? Well, what you want to do when you turn after you get out of high school? You know, we in, we in school and things like that. And I'm saying, OK, what you want to do with your life? I had no inkling. I had no inkling. No premonition, no, you know, no, no, really, I really never gave it a thought about what I want to be later on in my life. And you know how you put your dreams on the back burner and you put it, okay, well, I do this tomorrow, I do this tomorrow, I do this tomorrow, okay? Well, let me tell you something. I got a real wake-up call when the three most important people died on me, Okay? That was my wake up call about my life. And I wanted to really get into it, changed my mind so much. I said, it's time for me to focus on me and what I really wanted out of my life. And, and the thing is, is that yes, you can accomplish that. I went, hey, I'm going to tell you something. I went to school too. I went to school. I want. I signed up at the University of Phoenix, and I decided I want to go back to school. You know, this, this before the, the three most people passed away on me, and I was dibbling, dabbling with my classwork and stuff like that. But I let my thought process, I let my thought process take over my mindset of I thought I was stupid. Because of stuff that had happened to me when I was younger in school that I was held back in school because they said I wasn't smart enough to pass to the next grade. And this happened to me three times, right? And my thing is, you're never too old to go to school, go back to school. You're never too old to go back to school, no matter how you, how 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 you may see it, how you may perceive it, right? I want you to sit down and do some research about that young lady. Sit down and find out what grants they have, what um what other kind of help that people can give you as far as you going back to school. Um, I'm also doing this broadcast on uh, Instagram. So I want you to do the research and find out what grants that you can apply for to go back to school. Because they're giving them out left and right, seem like these, now these days, right? So you may want to see about grants that you can apply to go back to school, okay? So like I was, you know, and, and my thing is, is sometimes we think because of what we hear that people have put us in a box, Put us in the box, called us stupid, said we didn't, we uh we, we weren't gonna mount to anything, said we were never gonna be anything, said that we were uh you, you know, you 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 know, it's this thing of they always trying to diminish your your they always trying to throw that positivity on you, maybe because they have experienced that in their life. And we ain't got to accept nothing nobody tell us. So don't get it twisted. We ain't got to accept that mess to somebody telling us talking about we can't make it, we ain't nothing, we ain't this. Look, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? Because you didn't make, God made me, okay? So my thing is, is that once you get this change of mindset, which I had after my three, de- my three major deaths in my life, I decided to focus on something I really wanted. Focus. That means no distractions. Uh, you got to change the people, places, and things. You got to uh, stay away from negative people, people that ain't doing nothing with their life, okay? I'm just telling you like it is. Stay away from negative people. Stay away from negative people and their negative mindsets. Because if they ain't doing nothing for themselves, what make you think they're going to do anything for you? Come on. 
I'm just saying, I'm telling it like it is. Because after the three deaths in my life, I kind of had a wake, I had a epiphany, I had a wake up moment, a wake up moment, a wake up moment. My wake up moment was sitting there at my mother, sitting in front of my mother's casket. And God clearly spoke to me, and I could hear him clear as day. He said, write the book. Um, my brother's talking at the podium. My oldest brother's talking at the podium. And God spoke to me clearly as day. He says, write the book. Okay. So I get from my mother's funeral. I proceed to find out everything I could find out about writing a book. And I didn't have any money. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any money to get a editor. I didn't have any money to get a, a proofreader. I didn't have any money to get these things. And God made a way where he blessed me with somebody that helped me for free. Okay. Now, when it comes to your, when it came to my other stuff I had to do, yes, I had to come up with the money, but so I had to save my money up for my job. I was working as a certified nurse assistant. I saved up my money and turned around and did what I had to do. I had to sacrifice. I couldn't get my nails done. I couldn't get my hair done. I couldn't uh, go out and go to eat at the restaurant. My friend asked me to. Sometimes when you want something and your dream it's your dream. You cannot give up on your dream. It's something that God placed down inside of you that you need to get up from there and get busy and stop procrastinating, stop lollygagging, stop putting it off for tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do, you know, I'll do something later or, you know, and, and, and the thing is, sometimes we have to get, we have to dig deep within ourselves. Dig deep within ourselves and say, how bad do I want this thing? I don't care if I had to proofread it, edit my own book. That's what I did. I proofread it, edited my own book. Okay. Then I got somebody, somebody knew somebody, and I, I asked around. Closed mouth don't get fed. Closed mouth. Do not get fed. Closed mouth. Do not get fed. If you don't ask nobody no questions, how you going to know? You don't ask nobody, okay, well, how do I do this? Or how do I do that? Or how do I, uh, how, my my thing was, okay, how am I going to upload this book to Amazon? Because that's who I went with to publish my first book. And I sat there and I was like, okay, look, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I wanted it bad. And my thing is, is that we got to understand, we got to start making excuses. Start making it, start making excuses because that is what life is. You, you got to come up with a way to make a way where you can, you can uh, uh, say, look, I ain't got no money to do this, but I'm going to find a way to do this. And if you sit down and write it down on paper and make it plain, you can do it. It is find out if it's some sites that you can go to that, uh, that help you, that help with the grant process of you going back to school. Sometimes we don't want, we, we, we sitting around and we, 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 you can believe all you want, but it's actions that fill the void. It's actions that fill the void. Actions. You have to put action into what you believe. Oh, I want to be, I, I want to own my own business. Okay. What's the business? I'll give you an example. My son said he wanted to start a car washing business. My youngest son, he said, one, okay, well, you you know, you got money to buy you a bucket and a sponge and supplies and things like that. Um, and even when, see, this is, this is how you know if this person's serious or not. I said, I'll buy you the materials for the stuff, for the get your, get the stuff. I'll buy you the material. I was going to, I was going to, hey, look, 
When it comes to your children, sometimes you got to push them out the nest. I'll help you buy the materials. Come on, when you want to go? They never gave me, he never gave me no answer. And then he was like, well, this and that. And I said, you know, I don't want to hear no excuses. I learned in life. I learned after my after I learned after the three deaths in my family, in my 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 immediate family, my grandma, my mother, and my father. I learned that I had to learn how to stop with them excuses. I had to learn how to stop. Oh well, this person and the white man this and the this this this. And I'm like, hold up. When my son gave me that answer about the white man mess, I said, you know what? I don't believe that. Um, I don't. Now, why I don't believe, I can't put, I, I can't, I can't play the blame game neither. I can't blame, oh, the white man won't let me do this. The white man won't let me. I don't believe that. Because I can get on, get on this computer and talk and write a book and do all these things without a white man stopping me. Okay. So we got to throw that and throw that, throw that on out the one, throw that. Throw that way, throw that way over there in the dirt, over there out the ballpark with that excuse. And oh, I got children and I got this. Okay, yeah, I got kids too. Mine young. Okay, hello. It's called find a way to find a babysitter for a period of time where you can have a peace of moment to sit down and figure things out. You have to make out the time. You have to make the time to fulfill your dream. And that means you can't sit on that couch and find excuses. You can't find, I ain't got no money. Uh, Okay. Then all these other things started happening to me, started happening to me, started happening for me. And I was like, look, even though I published that book by myself, I turned around, I was, I was busting everybody in the head with that. Okay, well, you want to buy a book? You want to buy a book? Everybody, and look, stop waiting on your friends and family to support you. Stop waiting. Stop, stop. Please stop. Please stop with that excuse. Oh, my family and friends, they don't want to buy nothing. Bye. Keep it moving. See you later. There's more people out here in the world than your family and friends. And I'm going to tell you something about them family and friends. When they don't support you, keep it moving. And then when you make it up there where you, okay, where you start changing, or oh, I got a new car, or oh, I got a new house, or oh, I got a new, oh, all of a sudden they want to know you. Oh, okay. No, uh-uh. You don't play me like that. This is your dream. This is your chance. This is your, your thing that you want to do for yourself to better yourself for you. Bump everybody else. I had to say that. I really literally had to say that. I literally, literally had to say that. Because I had to block out all the drama. I had to block out all this, you know, where people bring you a whole bunch of mess. And it, it even came down to my kids like that. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? I don't got time. I don't got time. I don't got time to hear your your drama story. I don't have time to hear oh well, you know your lies and alibis and all. I don't got the patience for that, you know. And that's your life. So you, I've I've tried to, you know. And that's the thing as being a parent that okay, I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little off of course a little bit. But when it comes to something that you want to accomplish, you even have to forsake your children. Because this is something that I want to do so I can better myself for you later on down the road when I get up to 65, 75, 80 years old. I want you to be able to say, oh, my, I'm not looking for no accolades. I'm looking, I'm doing this for my spirit, not for you. I'm not doing it so I can leave you some money. You got to go get your own money. I'm, I'm using one of those Steve Harvey moments. I'm not leaving y'all nothing. I'm not leaving you nothing. You're gonna have to work. You gonna work. And if you want, if you want my money, that's another thing we gotta stop doing. We get out here and have these big dreams and things like that, and we see him spending on all these people. No. If you want my money, you got to work for my money. You got to work. You got to do some something. You gotta do, you gotta file paperwork, you gotta type, 
you gotta make a letter, you gotta do something to benefit me get you to, for me to give you my money. Cause see, when we make it easy for our children, it makes them lazy. When we just keep getting their money, oh, I'm gonna just keep getting you some money. I'm gonna no, can you do something? You know, it's like. You know, that's that's why I think that it is so important when it comes to your dream, you can't be distracted by other people bull crap. Other people drama, other people, oh, uh, you ain't that, you know, oh, oh, please. And 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 please stay away. Can I stay away with that? Can I get some for free? I have learned free will keep me broke. Free will keep me broke. Free will keep you broke. Because if they were serious about your stuff, if they care and had enough respect for you, they will buy your products or they will buy your merchandise. They will buy your books. They will buy your, okay. But then when you, oh, they, they ain't got no problem asking for some money. That's another thing. Stop giving money to people that just give me, give me, give me all the time. That's why I tell authors, got to do interviews. Ain't nobody come knocking at your door talking about, can I buy your book? You got to get out. Get off of social media. Get off of social media. Ain't nothing wrong with promoting your stuff. Do lives. Do what you, bring attention to your brand, attention to what you do. There's nothing wrong with that. But, I also say, look, get out in the community, have a book, have a book signing. Uh, you know what I did one time? This is how my dream was. I said, all right, I wrote this book. Now I got to sell this book. You know what I did? I stood right outside, but I made some folding tables, sit outside because my street is a main fairway, main fairway to to the to through the neighborhood. And I sat out there and I said, okay, right, I'm gonna sell these books. Don't let your dream die. Don't let your dream die. Don't let it just sit there and fester and you mad and you angry. And you, I want to do something else with my life. But you still on the, you still, you still doing the same stuff that you were doing five years ago and you ain't changed nothing yet. I had a friend of mine, a friend, acquaintance, I'm an acquaintance. And they wanted to become an inventor. And they became, they, they wanted to invent, invent, invent something. So they made a patent and all this and this and the other. But the only thing they didn't have was the money. They didn't have the money to really put their time, to, put the, to get the inventor started, the invention started, to get it made and all that, right? Then they said they want to be a cook. Then they said they wanted to be, uh, they wanted to be a, they, they, they were a chef. But then when it was time to do the videos, come on, are you, how are you think anybody going to know about you if you don't put yourself out there? How do you know, anybody going to know you? Anybody know? And don't nobody know you. You don't nobody know you. You don't do lives. You can sit at home. You can sit at home and make all the candles you want. But if I don't see no advertising on your page, your Facebook page, this is what social media is about. Don't let your dream die. Oh, I'm gonna just make these candles. They gonna somebody gonna you know, and I'm gonna tell my friends and I'm gonna tell these people. Look, you need more than your friends and family with that one. You need more than family and friends with that. You got to get out and do what you got to do to make the bring the 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 you 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 got to you can't let your dream die. And once you finish one, I'm gonna tell you this too. Once you finish one step, you're gonna have to do another. It's a continuous continuous thing. I give you a thing of. Uh, a, a a pastor of mine, his name Pastor Derek Tynes, and he writes, he composes, he writes, and he composes his own music and own songs. 
And I will say, we have been working on his project, his album to be made, his CD to be made for a long time. Come on, uh, Fat Mandy. You, you, you know what Pastor Derek had to go through to get this CD made, right? She my girl. She on Instagram. And the thing was that he never gave up. He never gave up getting it accomplished. And he motivated me. He motivated all of us in the group, in the choir, Limiting Gospel Corral. He motivated us to keep going. And when people come and try to steal your stuff, okay, when people try to steal your stuff, it's always good to have stuff copyrighted. You can't take it to the copyright office if you got your name ain't on nothing. <laughs> right? 50 years. And, 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 yeah. And the thing is, is that in that process of you trying to accomplish this goal, don't let the goal, don't let it die because it's taking you too long. Oh, it's, it's, it's. Oh, uh, I'm tired. And, um, you know, don't get discouraged because you have to keep going. You have to keep going. It ain't going to happen overnight, man. Don't nothing happen overnight unless God has it that way. The only person I know that they, they can do something in twinkling of eyes is God. And he makes you work. He gets you to work where you have to manifest your dream. You have to not let it die on the vine. You got to get up off the couch, watching TV, playing video games on your phone, all that. Get off that. That's a distraction. When it comes to your goals, they should be your main focus. Your main focus all the time. Look, I got to accomplish this. I, I can't go hang out with you. I, I can't, I can't, um, I can't, um, I, I can't loan you money. I can't loan you money. I can't loan, I can't loan you any money right now. I can't, you know, I, I can't do all that. I, 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 you know, and, and sometimes these things are thrown to you as a distraction in your life. And you can't fall for the okie doke. And like I said, start waiting on family, friends. Start waiting on your family and your friends. Start waiting on them. You know, you, you think that's the only people that's supposed to buy your stuff or, or do stuff for you. And it's called sacrifice and save your money. That's how bad you want. It. Sacrifice. That means I couldn't get my hair done. Sacrifice means I can't get my I can't get my nails done. I can't get my feet done. That costs me $150. You know, and I want to get my nails and my feet, my hair done. It costs me a high spread. I gotta spend $150 on that. Yeah, some people are, oh, that's a spit in the bucket. No, to me it is not. I like taking care of myself, but I'm not gonna sacrifice if I gotta turn around and buy, say I gotta buy shipping envelopes. Shipping envelopes to send out this book. They cost me cheaper to buy them from Amazon than to go to the post office and buy them. I'll tell you why. Because they're more expensive at the post office to send off a book in an envelope. And they make you buy them. I could buy a whole stack of 30 for $25 envelopes to fit for this, for this book. But I'm not going to post office the back because the post office charged me $2 or something to send an envelope. They ain't, even charge, they ain't even talking about some shipping. How bad do you want your dream to, to, to really come true? And what are you willing to sacrifice for your dream? Don't let the dream die. Don't have it. Oh, I just got the, I got all these manuscripts sitting on my desk. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And oh, I'm going to write the book next year. Or I'm going to start the business next year. Or uh, I'm going to make that CD next year. No. You know, the way stuff going out these days, <laughs> tomorrow is not promised. Okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. 
So get busy today with what you what God has placed down within in your heart. Get up off the couch, get off the video game, get off your cell phone, get off of running Tom Sue, Mary Jane around in your car where they ain't trying to give you no gas money. Everybody want to ride for free. Look, my car don't move unless you give me some gas money. Okay. You have to have, and it calls for boundaries when it comes to other people in your life. It comes for, it, it, has, it has come with boundaries. Look, I just am not putting up with other people's mess. Oh, you know, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Can, no, I can't. No, I don't have the time. And, hey, you know, when the tax man come, you be like, oh, my God. Y'all sit around, work the job. You know, I used to work a job, too. I'm not going to say I'm going to say it like this. I used to work a job. And that's guess what happened to my tax money? Child support got my tax money. So I'm one of those mothers that had to pay back child support. So I ain't get no refund. So I got to turn around and go work. I got to work. I got to work. And then you sit around, take your tax money. I'm going to go buy some sneakers. I'm going to buy a new PlayStation. I'm going to buy a new car. I'm going to do this. And then you're sitting there broke two weeks later talking about, oh, um, what, uh, what happened? Take your tax return money and invest it in yourself and start your business. Or start whatever you want. It's candle making business, writing a book, uh, washing cars. Um, painting houses, what, whatever your thing is that God has put down inside you, stop putting it off tomorrow for tomorrow for tomorrow because tomorrow ain't promised to you. I want to thank everyone for coming out. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, over here on StreamYard, I'm gonna give y'all a, a nice a view over here on Instagram too. You have not gotten your book today. You need to get it. Coming to Loving Yourself is available at www.shariceandjohnsonmore.com backslash shop. The book is $20, okay? I have a workbook that goes along with it. Coming to Loving Yourself, Study Guide to Building Your Self-Work, okay? It is available on, on, the, on the website as well, www.shariceandjohnsonmore.com backslash shop, okay? When you buy this book by itself, you pay twenty five plus ship. The twenty five plus five is this thirty dollars, right? But when you buy both of these books together, they forty dollars. These books are for these, these these two books together are forty dollars. And I got a free gift for you. How about that? I got a free gift. I ain't gonna tell you what the free gift is, but I'm I, I got some free for you, right? So I'm also. Uh, you know, I have T-shirts. I also have T-shirts. They're available. They're on the website. And I want to put this out there for all the entrepreneurs. I want to put this out there for all the entrepreneurs. If you want to advertise your business, I got a streaming channel for you. Channel LBM TV. It is available on the C1 Media Network uh, Smart TV app. The app is C1 Media Network smart TV app can be found on Apple TV, Roku TV, uh, and Amazon Fire Stick, uh, Android TV, and um, Google TV. Okay, it can be found there, and you can check out my channel. And and you go, you go, you just go. C one media type. Go into your search bar. Type C capital C, the number one media network, and it'll come up. And then you click and download it, and then you will find my channel, Channel LBM TV. Okay, it can be seen. See, I'm gonna give you this this tip, right? Do you know that streaming channels are the new thing? Streaming channels are always the new. Uh, are they are the new thing that people watch besides just regular cable because cable is getting too expensive. Okay, and all you need is internet for streaming channels. All you need is internet. You just pay internet bill. That's it. And when you advertise on my channel, it goes across all my social media networks. It goes across my LBM Facebook page. It goes across my Sharice Johnson Moore LLC page. It goes to my uh, uh, LinkedIn page. It also goes to my YouTube page and Twitter account. 
okay? And I take and I put your your commercial for your business or your trailer or whatever you want to advertise with, okay? You might want to have a little short video, sh a short little movie or whatever, whatever, trailer, whatever, and you can place that on my channel. And I'm not trying to knock you in the head. Okay, I'm not trying to knock you in the head. You just contact me and I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMore.com. Okay, and I, we can sit down and talk about it, right? If you got music you want to release, hint, hint. If you got music you want to release, hint, hint. <coughs> okay, Mandy. And and the thing is, is that you, I, I want to give y'all exposure, I want to give you exposure for the things that you do. That's what God has placed in my heart to do for all the people that follow me. If you and I'm not charging you arm and a leg to do the advertising. I'm 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 not charging you arm, leg, body parts. I'm not charging you all that, right? Just come talk to me, okay? And I want to help you with your advertising. I want to get your business out there, whether you make candles, whether you you sewing or uh, your seamstress or your t-shirt uh, vendor or your t-shirt business or you're a podcaster or uh, you're a truck driver. You got your own business. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying. I want to help you. I want to help all the people that are trying to do something positive in their life and they just need a little help. See, sometimes we just need a little help with some things that we got to do, right? And I'm going to throw this out there. I'll even make your commercial for you. How about that? I'll make the commercial for you. I'll make the commercial for you. Hey, free of charge. You just got to pay the fee I ask for every month, okay? Come on, talk to me. Come talk to me because I, I know... That is something that I'm real good at, at videography, okay? So, my thing is, I want to help you get the exposure that you need. I want to say thank y'all for coming in for uh, Let's Talk Sunday. I'll see y'all at 3 o'clock, but think about it. Think about it, Sunday, and our topic is, so, you want to open up, you want to start a business, huh? Uh, well, it's going to take some research. You're going to have to do some research with that. Think about it, Sunday. Topic is... So, you want to start a business? Well, let's do some research, okay? I want to talk to y'all later. I love y'all. Bye, babies. I see y'all later, okay? All right? I see y'all later, and I love you. And I hope, oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong one. Um, I want to see, I want to, I want to hear from you. I want to, you know, it's positive. It's, 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 you know, it's something that I want to help you do. Okay. I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later. Come on, talk to me, DM me, you know, come on. We're going to sit down and get you, get you the exposure that you need. Okay. I love you. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye babies. Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here, owner and CEO of LBMTV. At LBMTV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally, we're located on the C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy positive, uplifting programming for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you.
Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Sharice Johnson Moore here and I have something special for you. Okay, I'm starting a new streaming channel and it is entitled LBM TV. Okay, so I want to get you seen in front of 4.5 million people. Okay, you know how many people that is that you could advertise your business to, that you could put yourself on front of the people to be seen. 4.5 million people. Oh my God, that's a lot of people, right? So, I'm opening the door for all of those that would like to advertise on my TV channel, LBM TV, an opportunity to really get in front of the people. You can contact with contact me through lbmtvmedia at gmail.com for further details. lbmtvmedia at gmail.com for further details. Okay, so I want to get you seen in front of 4.5 million people. Okay, so that's on a daily basis. And I wanted to let you know that I support all businesses, okay? So, come on in. Come on in the room and get seen on TV, okay? All right, babies. I love you.